All right, let's see what this Expedition 5 has to bring us in No Man's Sky. Curious about it. Been playing the uh, Community Expeditions for quite a while. So hopefully it'll be a fun expedition. So Let's just see what it brings. So each expedition is uh, different, as they have different um, offerings, different quest lines, different stories. But the gameplay is basically the same. tab it'll tell you all you need to do let's see uh, write a companion look at your starship best friend sport photograph your companion okay that's not hard uh, leave the planet leave the lifeless systems much world do a companion egg so that means just uh companion needs to give birth I gotta modify up the egg Bake a cake. What? Okay, I've never seen that one. This one might take a little bit of a difficulty. Earn Explorer Guild standing. So that just means I have to do a lot of Explorer Guild quest lines. This one might be a little bit tough. Uh, luckily, nothing so bad compared to other expeditions that I've done. Some of my other expeditions I've had to actually do. What was the shadow? Well, we had to do some expeditions. I know you did some with me, like. Rename planets? Uh, yeah. Who the hell are you? Just, uh, what are you playing? Um, Shadow War? Yeah. I want to give a little shout out to Hello Games for actually making this game as fun as it is. When this game first came out, it was... Absolute dog shit. There was a lot of things that were missing in the game. Like, there was no online multiplayer, which is fine. They said that you would barely be able to meet characters, that it was so expanding of a game that you would never see other players in, around you. But, through this, people actually met in the same location, and... They couldn't see each other, they couldn't hang out. It was like they were right they were right in the second same spot and the, the other one couldn't see the other. And 
throughout the years they've actually done a lot of good things for the game, updated it, given it free expansions, free storylines. They made it just a lot of fun. It's ridiculous how a developer made this story from a zero to a hundred after a lot of people lost faith in the game. Hydrogen drilly and carbon nanotubes, and I can make this. Uh, let's see. I need more carbon. to create the trim manipulator. Constructed. I do. Did it crafted? It did. Oh, it needs two carbon nanotubes. Keep telling me. So by going underground, you actually regenerate your shields, your health. Oh, not your health, but you know, basically your shields. Oxygen and life support, you get that by gathering plants, collecting them. Ooh, I do have a nest, a stop of a nest rank. Okay, cool, I still have a nest rank ship, I like those. I don't have the oxygen for this, uh, I do have more diet. Um, first of all, I gotta find a companion, right? Then it's make creature pellets. I don't make those again. Components, consumables, creature pellets, carbon. Okay. So creature pellets are a way to actually get a creature to follow you, to become your companion, and later you give it a collar, you take it around.
thing about analyzing uh, plants is that if it has a question mark, it'll give you the extra item, patient. Alright, I'll take the patient. It's useful for crafting. Oh, this is Supposedly, you make the uh, laser beam smaller, you get more materials. Let's create. a little trick that uh, Captain Collins from Twitch actually explained to me and showed me. I agree with some of the people we're talking right now in the uh, world. I kind of wish you could have more than just six ships, but uh, one of the actual cool things about the game is that you can actually get different types of classes of ships. Generator, so you can actually get better ingredients. If you put ferret dust, you get uh. I'm not sure what you get with ferret dust, but with carbon you get condensed carbons. So you can actually just uh, put those products into one thing. But some of the items you craft, you won't be able to return back to their base. For example, with condensed carbon. You put in 100 carbon, you get 50 condensed. So, Shadow, when are you going to be ever, able to join me again for No Man's Sky? If I ever feel like playing it. I used to enjoy that game, but the bugs were <laughs> atrocious. Mm, yeah. That, and I ultimately kind of got bored of it. <laughs> I mean, I like it, the problem with the game, it's just that there's not much to do around it after a while. Expeditions are fun though, because when you finish the expeditions, all the rewards you get... So let's see the rewards. Let's see. Another Grinch Trail, Solstice Poster Plants, Abyssal Poster Plants. Sentinel Quad Companion Egg. Shadow, we actually do get Sentinels as companions. <laughs> That's kind of scary to think about. Yeah, so the new expansion they did is called... Uh, 
No Man's Sky Sentinel. two of these. Alright, so there's where my ship is. Let's go find that out. She's a little discovery, so... How many fauna? I'll get one second. Sorry about that, that was my sister. Since we're going to the beach house today, and I'm excited for that. Ironically, the beach house has better internet than my house. Right, Shadowy? That makes me feel so fucking sad. The problem with my uh, internet in my house is just that it has a bad router. Or a bad modem. Routers near the modem is just not, and sometimes it just get randomly disconnected from the internet. And it takes about what, two minutes, three minutes to re log? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, sometimes it takes that long. It's not bad, the problem is if you're playing online multiplayer games, well, that random DC makes me just not do content in video games, or makes me just, uh,. Crash the entire party, we gotta start things back to the start. We were playing uh, Super Mario Party, uh, Paper Mar uh, Mario Party one day, and we thought we lost all the data. But no, what we had to do was uh, re replay it, like reload the save file, go back at it. Alright, so there's no fishes in this planet, so that means I can go to my ship and find another planet and explore. Alright, there we go. Now when you always get your ship, it's gonna be busted, destroyed, and you have to repair it. What the heck of a ship they gave me? What the heck is that thing? I usually see this one. But this one has two wings on it. Okay, so I do need to have 300 jelly, uh, metal plating, which is just not hard to make, and Murdoch Seal is not hard to make. 
be a ferrite. All right. Refinery, put fuel, carbon. A magnetized ferrite will give me a one to two, so for every magnetized ferrite, I'll get two pures. I get about, when I get to 500, it should be fine. Yeah, that should be more than enough. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I need more dehydrogen and I need for the hermetic seal more condensed carbon. I think I have enough carbon to do this. By the way, last night was a blast shadow for that. Yeah, no problem. That's repaired, and I just need the uh, dehydrogen jelly now to finish this. So now we gotta find these blue orbs around the world. Crystals contain the jelly. Well, the products to make the jelly. Okay. So what was the uh, rusted metal used for? God, I don't remember. You used it to make something else out of it, right? I don't think. And then you made nanites or something through that? Um, I don't think it was rusted metal. I'd have to look it up. Again, I know it was something to do with like some slime and mold. But rusted metal was made out of something like that, right? I think. I don't have to die. We need to come back to this game. Or we need to continue playing Heroes of Hammer Watch tonight. Which begs the question, what do you want to play tonight? Good question, because I'm still trying to find why is my fucking build in my army. In, uh, more war. Also learned that one of my cloaks, whenever I raise the dead, does not also raise the uh, the dead to the special ability that it comes with. It summons, it doesn't re-raise. So it's not like the necromancer in Diablo. Uh, I mean, I do have a necromancer build going. 
I can raise the dead and reanimate and, what, and whatnot. With the cloak, I have summoned spirits instead of raising the dead. Uh, so it's just like summoning skeletons then? Uh, yeah, summoning fallen soldiers, in a sense. Alright. I'm like, I was wondering, like, why, why am I not, like, reanimating corpses? As well as summoning stuff. No, you can only summon things with that cloak. So I immediately had to take it off. And replace it with a different piece. Oh, that makes sense. Necromancy is very fun. <laughs> Necromancy can be a lot of fun. Alright, let's get out of here. Only issue is that I accidentally destroyed one of my best swords I've ever had. And what sword was that one from? Shadow uh, I think it was called Death Bane or Blood Bane. One of the two. Essentially, after a second chance, i.e., saving yourself from execution, you get full health and full might back. So that way you can use special abilities. Uh, yeah, and I accidentally got rid of that, so I'm back to my original Necromancer sword. And I came from Excar Equilard, so Shadowy, there's a player, a player called Estupida Humana. You know what that translates to, no? Something about idiot. Stupid human. Close enough. But because it says Estupida Humana, which is the female term, I think you can get the idea. <laughs> Hey, old Rani. Welcome to the street. Ow. Skittles are biting today. Uh. Yeah, there's things I enjoy about this game, but there's things I just don't enjoy about it. Yeah, the chat is showing up. I can see it. I have you on the bottom left of the screen, so every time you send somebody sends a message, I can just read it on the bottom left. Chad, I got a question for you. You do watch Final Fantasy XIV streamers sometimes, right? Nope. No? I just wanted to know how they actually log some things, like some chat dialogues with uh, for block screens so people don't see the chats from the game. I don't know how to do that overlay. I don't know what the 
watch it. I watched one for like five minutes mostly because, you know, YouTube were big anime titties. Oh my gosh, Ellie. Hey, I can say that. It's not that bored. you can say it or you can't say it, it's just that. I mean, am I wrong? of B2 or something like I know it's a virtual avatar that people wear but how do they do that and how does it all work it, like it's a very special program if I remember correctly that's all I, I know of I thought one of the VTubers actually got um, banned from YouTube a black cat with highlights. I'm not sure. Also, Granny's saying, hey, shadowy to you. Uh, whoever you are. <laughs> That's all you're getting. <sighs> you know, I still kind of wish that that um, if you're docked on the Switch, you could actually have a stream channel, a stream thing going. Not just doing video capture cards, because I really want to stream on the Switch. I don't know if there is a way to do that or not. I mean, I know with capture cards you can, but uh, I need to talk to Saber about it. Saber's not one of our friends who we play Mario Party with, Superstars. We still need to get a fourth to play the superstars with us so we could have four people all the time. Just like Sophus, TC, Nick do. Hold on. We're still waiting to challenge Gertie on Super Mario Party. On um, the original? Uh, yeah. I might get it. Uh, it's not bad. Like it, it, it's no superstars, it's no old school, but at least it go it went back to the move separately aspect of it compared to you know nine and ten. All right, I'll call you Nira. I might give it a chance, honestly, because the reason I got Mario Party Superstars is because it was the old school games, and I grew up with Mario Party 1, 2, and 3. So I have to say this, and I hate this of the game, the war pipe. I just hate the golden pipe in the game. It is, if you have money to spend, money to spare, you automatically win. It's over. You're going to absolutely adore Super. It doesn't have it? No, it has it. All the boards have it. Oh god. Yeah. I might as well humor your little viewer here. When I was first playing it, and uh, I was going through the game on the hardest difficulty after I you know, learned everything that I possibly could. Uh, let's just say that... I had a nice little loop strategy going on of stealing stars, getting a pipe, etc, etc. And I'd wait until um, Toadat would be right next to Lakitu, so that way I can get a star and steal another star. The bots weren't too happy about that. Would you like to take a guess what they did? They all gang up on you and just stole they all did. your stuff? Yes, they did. They actually went they actually pulled on me, done the strategy, and solely focused on me, and I just went from first to absolute last, and there was nothing I could do about it, and I'm just sitting here going, you can't do that! You're bots, that's illegal! <coughs> I may have made a small mistake, and I may have left my, refi my photo refinery out on another planet. It happens, it's just a big ouch sometimes. 
So that means he's just gotta make another metal plate, and I need ferrite dust for that. Well, luckily, my ship has one, but I gotta go back to my ship. Put on this heat storm. And when your thermal protection is out of the way, you start taking damage. Just like that. Oh boy. I'll be able to make it just fine with the ship. faster, that would be nice. Okay. Put this metal plane in here, go outside and just make a little hole to survive. Okay, the storm is clear, that's good. I love it when I get weather updates like those. Alright. Oh, that's Fasium, okay. Uh, nitrogen gives me that, so that's not what I need. Okay, so Rust of Metal gives me Fairy Dust. Alright, good to know. Oh, there we go. Chromatic metal. Now I need the worst part of, of the whole thing. Microprocessors, and you can't craft those. You have to go find them or buy them. Can't pick it up. Come on, it's gotta wait for me to get my fuel supply back. this up. Okay, there we go. It was because I have full inventory. Sometimes when you have full inventory, it won't let you pick things up, so you have to put it in your cargo. I just make him find a vendor or somebody to give me the microprocessors I need to travel. Where's my airship? Where's my airship? Oh, there it is.
is not even telling me that I played No Man's Sky. For what? Discord? Uh, no, uh, YouTube. Do you nah. know when you put the game in, the YouTube will tell you if you're playing a game or not? It's just saying I'm not. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, it's not putting the game in cover. That's fine. So the bases you see is people who made bases and they will give you hints, tips. Luckily this expedition will take it has five weeks of time to play, so I'm on the four uh, I started a week later. Other games I wanted to tear, to tear out, play. One of the expeditions I gave up on was Expedition 1. I played it during Expedition 2 and would always do everything with Expedition. Then when the month before came back, you only had two weeks to do each expedition, and I was gone for vacation during that time. So. Expedition 1 had to be out of my jurisdiction to do. Hopefully they'll bring it back. Is that one that golden ship? You look like a wolf, right, Shadow? Starbucks? Ah, uh, yeah. I could have gotten my hands on it. Uh, I'm just lazy. Each expedition grants you some cool stuff, and then you can use it on previous expeditions. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, there is a space station. Okay. Usually space stations have some good stuff that you can buy, so hopefully they'll have what I need. Oh no, uh, high sentinel activity. It's not red, I think. So when they give you, well, when you go to a planet that says like Sentinels, it will tell you if it's um, high Sentinel activity, medium Sentinel activity, low, or if it's red, with Sentinel activity means that you're going to be shot on sight. And that is annoying. That's an indium planet, which is good. Indium is needed to create a better hyperdrive. Because there's indium, there's cadmium. Is the last one iridium? Oh. I could be a pirate, though. Always be a pirate. In this game, you are allowed to attack other ships that are in the f on space like those. Wait, are you a dead space station? Oh. It's a dead space station indeed. Yeah, so this is just a dead one, which means that, uh, it's abandoned. You notice you get to the red light. Usually, it will always be blue. Hopefully, the, uh, selection train terminal still works.
So like PC, where in PC you are able to choose the amount you want to sell, so you have to go manually, I think. Sell three hundred and fifty. For that much, they're not that expensive usually, but when they're expensive like that, it's the only thing you can do. So, we got a working hyperdrive. capital ship oh, all right that's a freighter that's actually a big big freighter so... okay it's not that big it's a Benator class though so in this game they said to add these capital ships that you can actually get this is one of these capital ships. There's a Venator class, a Dreadnought type. What was the last one, Shadow? Do you remember? Oh, what was I? I wasn't breaking it. Capital ships. There's the Venator, the Dreadnought. What's the last one? Oh, God, I don't remember. Were there three or were there just two? One of them was from Battlestar Galactica, the other one was from Star Wars. This is a Star Wars type. There's only two, because that's the only the only one that I know of is the Star Wars one. Alright, alright. Okay, so let's see. Now we gotta get the most important thing in our technology, a warp cell. Which means we have to make the uh, cell itself and the products to make it. So, an antimatter and an antimatter housing which needs oxygen. For that, we can traverse the world. Alright, there's that cargo pod. We have. A nice cobalt. Okay, I'm gonna have to start attacking. Oh, gotta be careful. 
Charlie, I've got my shield. To be honest, in a lot of these games that are just uh, space types, being a space pirate is one of the best things ever. Ted, we can tell you, how much did you munch? How much money did you make by just parting? Uh, 300 mil. I only have one rule when I do space parting. Never attack the gang. There are three races in the game. The Viking. The Gek, what was the last one, Shadow? The Corvus? Oh. Are there more than three? Are there more than I remember the Travelers. Yeah, but I'm talking about the ones that you do. You are a Traveler. Your character is a Traveler. Yeah, mostly because of that stupid head that freaked everyone out. Is it the Corvax? I don't remember the name, I think it's the Corvax Corvax. Might be missing a couple more frames. I haven't played that game in a long time. Real quick. Uh, usually when you go to start menu discoveries, it'll tell you the planet you're in and... It is Corvax, okay, it is Corvax. So yeah, I don't attack the Gek, which is the character that the game gave me. Play as. There is a, lore, a few more about this game when it comes to the races or the species. The Gek were slavers. They were an empire until Sentinels decided to almost put an end to that. It's kind of funny because they're the tiny race. I always play, I always play uh, tiny classes or tiny species in games. In Final Fantasy XIV, I played the Lollapels. What do you call them, Shadow Short Stacks? Mine's a short stack. Don't get me started. something would just show up or spawn in, it was immediately gone down with no chance of waiting and over half of the stuff, or most of the stuff was uh, black market. I would have kept going on the black market stuff, but I just wasn't getting anything to it. I need you. 
I need you to check. I would my my mini guns would fire so fast that the game literally couldn't handle the register at all of them. So it was like a slideshow of like two bullets bouncing back and forth between my barrels and just halfway through space. I took screenshots of those and video clips. Uh, it, was it was it was funny to see it honestly. It was really funny to see just how the game would just flash. It's for like we're seeing him shoot and it's just a straight line, nothing changing. Unless he changed course and then you would see the bullets just fly. It would be like the bullets were just staying in place. Think of like a slideshow at like a frame per second. Really slow. <laughs> when it comes to bouncing back and forth because it's firing so quick. Alright, I got an enemy on me. I gotta, I gotta take it down. Oh, there is. Ah. Oh no, I got a free star. Ooh. So this is basically a uh, grand total rules of stars. The more stars you have, the more uh, defense capabilities show up until you get to see a capital ship just try to annihilate you. And it's not pretty. He says that as I laugh in my black market equipment. Oh yeah, but you were like late game build? This is early game build for me, like I have nothing but just uh... Little shit. That's also another big reason why I will never do expeditions. I don't want to start from scratch. Yeah, the good thing about starting expeditions if you're new to the game though, you get a lot of things immediately. Expeditions just give you a lot of early game, like a lot of late game stuff, early game. Um, I don't think this moon has oxygen. I didn't need saving. It does look like a Pandora world. There are worlds that look like um, black and white only. Gotta have um, oxygen, which we need, and then we can just start going to a new location.
line up, we check it. Oxygen bridge plant. Okay, uh, we gotta wait. This is the extreme heat plant we were here a while back. Just gotta wait for the temperature to just stop. One thing I wish I never told Shadowy about was naming things on this game. We found an uh, <laughs> ambient planet. <laughs> I, I called it <laughs> and chatted with my world and started just. I ruined this planet and its galaxy. <laughs> it's. It's just. Why? Don't worry, I ruined several other galaxies and planets. He did, he did. He would. He would, uh. Main creatures. I tapped this. I tapped that. I fucked this. <laughs> This fucked me. <laughs> I bred this. <laughs> like honestly, he is insane. I'm like, you, you, why? This is why you don't give me that much power. <laughs> no, we learned. Me and my other friend Ben, who I play with, we learned that like immediately. It's like, what have we done? <laughs> what have we showed him? I didn't know he could do that. Come on, where's that? Where's that oxygen rich thing we saw? Great cash, knowledge stones, great technology modules. Find it. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. Ah, good. good. All right, we have enough now. So we got enough to build it. Alright, we do have enough. The real fun begins. Ah, oh, a gag planet. Nice. And where's this taking me? Rendezvous one. Okay. Area and into 
where we can just go do whatever we want. Noxious planets, uh, toxic. Ice planet. It says it's a barren moon, but... It's got cactus... Pepper... Frostbound. You want us to go to the barren moon, see what we can find. creatures. I get the cactus flesh. Now, I wonder if I can summon the Nexus soon enough. Once I can, I'll be able to get my uh, creatures. Is up and one is down. <laughs> yeah, but that's you know, I remember. Yeah, that's I know that too. I think select might is the one that goes from the ground to the top, and select tight is the one that goes up to them. Not sure. If anybody wants to correct me on that one, please do. something that is very really cool. Our first language word. So this game allows you to actually learn new words. 
in the creature's languages from the Korvax to Gek. And the more you learn their language, the more milestones you get. And one of the trophies in this game or achievements is to learn a hundred words of each or a hundred words of total. Remember? Uh, can you check that trophy for, for me, Shadowy? I, I would assume it's a hundred. Hundred sounds about right. Oh, darn it. Hazardous floor, I hate those. The hazardous floor types are the ones that just attack you from afar. You can be this far away and it'll still hit you. I don't know why, it's just weird. Starship fuel. Or, well, not so, like launch fuel. Okay, I do. I got the hydrogen and I just need uh, metal plating. You can make a metal plating. Uh, yes, I can. Okay. Freedom. Destroy rocks in space. You go for an asteroid field to just destroy all those asteroids. Space anomaly. Three, I do believe I'm gonna call it a day. Alright, go ahead. Cool. I'd like to turn my fan on. Alright, alright, shadowy. Alright. He uh sleeps for a vampire. Moon life, best life. Fight me. I think anybody wants to fight him. Alright, here comes the plus side. Now that I've actually landed on the Nexus, or Space Anomaly, this is where the fun begins. Uh, Twitch rewards and the ex and the expedition rewards, each one being unique to its uh, game style. When I did the beachhead expedition, I actually did get the Normandy. So whenever I get a capital ship, the Normandy will show up with it. It's a frigate, though it's not a. 
it's not um something that you get from it's not a capital ship so you can't just use it you just gotta go into a, into a command console like it said the command room and then you can just send it out to space you cannot land on it you cannot see inside of it which is a shame but it is what it is I complete the Expedition 5, I'll get this, the Quad Egg. Kind of excited to see what it does. These are the rewards for Expedition 5. And these are the ones I need to get for Expedition 1. And this is what you get for doing Expedition, uh, Expedition 1. Finishing those faces, you get uh, cool decorations. Forgot about that ex sec the exosuit change, the golden first spawn battle mask. I got these ones, the Paragon and Renegade titles for doing the beachhead. Uh, what about the airship? I'm hoping they bring back the, ex the previous conditions. I can see the airship from the first game. There it is. That's from the first expedition, the Golden Vector. I guess it is a cool fighter class ship. What else? What else? What else? What else? Okay. Now that I got my mount, what else do I want to get? I'm gonna take this uh, Twitch companion. Alright, hold on. Inventory is full. Inventory is full. Uh. Put in my starship? Yeah, yeah, they did, they did. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna claim another ship. Just so we can have a, a cargo ship being used. These are the ships that I got from the expeditions, uh, the Twitch, the Twitch exclusive things. Alright, uh, let's see. Prefitted with a powerful face beam and upgraded pulse engine. We're gonna upgrade a hyperdrive for, for efficient galactic exploration, which is nice. Uh, Infra knife. Deflector shields and cyclotron ballista. Place and this is gonna have a lot more inventory slots than the one I started with. But I want to change to a fighter type. Let's see how much inventory space my fighter class does. Uh, my fighter. Oh, full on hyperdrive as well. Infra knife, cadmium amplifiers, pulse engines, full thrusters, and a lot more inventory space than my than my ship that I'm using. So you can get a few amounts of ships, and then you can claim it or exchange it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna claim, and that ship will now spawn somewhere on this hangar. At least it should. There it is. Okay, that's fine. Nope, that's how night of waxes. Okay. Just have to go to a planet and get mine. No big deal.
Oh, that is a nice looking ship. So the Nexus is basically a hub world for all players to come in and hang out, socialize online. Of course, I just came here for some stuff. So let's go back to a snow planet that I saw. Any questions you can ask them, no issue. play with the inventory. Is that a better life than that? Relics, which are used for sell, for trade, for the for the uh, the gex. Okay. I guess you start with an egg, cause Jesus, that is a big egg. Tiny little egg. Oh well, creature that spawned from the egg. What I like about flying creatures over the uh, ground types is that the flying just can, you know, they can just fly around go a little bit higher.
I don't know if the movement speed differs or not. I can't tell you if it does. I feel, of course, is that blind you get a view of the area versus being on the ground. Alright, so that's a thing they haven't fixed or done yet. If you're mounted, you cannot, uh,. Play around with it. Alright. Let's start collecting the uh, rewards for the expedition. First one. Paw print. So I just got 50 creature pellets, which is good for feeding. Upgrade okay, modules, which are nice. Take a photo of your companion. We're going to do that. Visit a lush home world. Induce a companion egg, which means just to have your an egg, not that hard to do. Alright, stuck with the storage augmentations. Nice. That will allow me to have more inventory capacity. Let me go back to my airship and feed this little baby. I know I heard that. That's a worm. Don't tell me there's a worm planet. There's worms in this planet. Please don't tell me that. So we made an expansion for this game, which was basically sandworms being all over the places, all over the areas, and it's like basically the movie Dune. Which is cool, in all honesty. Alright, let's take a little screenshot of this. Photo mode. Is it shared or not to hit? Let me see. Take a screenshot. Yep, share pl share mode. All right, just gonna take a screenshot with the share button. Summon companion activates photo mode from the quick menu. Alright. So we can actually take a photo of them.
there. Maybe I can take a picture of it. Oh, whoops. It's tricky to stick a screenshot of it. Doesn't count for the flying type. So let us doing the game and I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> Collect 50 different samples. So with nanites you can keep buying more spots, but you only start with two. There it is. That counted. Alright. Let's see the mutation store mutation. Uh, Starship Outfitter. Okay, so this just makes me have more spots for a ship. On those starry skulls. Alright, freezeable heat. I want the oxide to turn that on. Alright. Corvax words times a hundred. Did I just really learn a hundred different Corvax words? Give me a second real quick, I need to check something out. I'm just checking out something real quick. Alright, it's a good Okay. Back to the game. It's called, supposed to be called Milestone, but I guess because I'm in Expedition Mode, I don't have it. 
Milestone will tell you exactly what achievements you've done in the game. And those in-game achievements become trophies or achievements, whichever platform you're playing in, be it PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. Warpack of record plans, Warpack of record sends free powerful pulse engine upgrade and launch system recharge. Yes. Okay, launch system recharge plans means that anytime there's sun or solar panel, solar power around, it will regenerate launch launch fuel through time. Ugh, I forgot how much materials I need. Magnetic reservoirs are just hard to come by. So, magnetic reservoirs are either craft through some weird things or just outright buy them. But to craft them, you need to know the blueprint for it. Space anomalies sell them. So you have to go to the Nexus and get it. Antimatter's not hard to make. And I got a new recipe. Okay. And we're almost done with the first phase. I just gotta reach the first rendezvous and get to the next generation to induce uh, an egg. Okay, let's see some better stars. Storm crystals. Storm crystals are items that you get throughout the world. They have to be through extreme environments, and they'll be like these rocks that will light up, and you see like a bunch of electricity coming from them. They'll only be presented to you through extreme storm weather. Be it fire, be it toxic. It'll tell you what are the warning extreme conditions happen. Oh, there's some other mount. Uh, where is it? I honestly love how that creature looks. It's gorgeous to be honest. a good place to make a base. But I'd rather see if I can do this. Oh. Somebody else took it, I think. Yep, that settlement is taken. Alright, alright. I 
guess someone else took this one? Yep. Yeah, they got they got that one too. Ah, well the settlements are taken in this world. Wait, what is that one? Yep, that one's taken. Okay, okay. Settlements to explain that it was also added in another expansion, and basically you... I think it's like maybe Fallout where you actually grow your settlement, you protect it from, from attacks. And you just help it grow. Your decisions help it be... Depending on the production, and sometimes your decisions will affect the people who live there or not. Sadly, this planet, well, as much as I like it, as much as I enjoy it, I'm gonna have to do something else. So, because I like the, I like frozen worlds, frozen tundras, I'm actually gonna make this a home base. So let me just run my items. <laughs> and build the base. On well, the previous expansions, I guess that you had to build the base. You had to settle your area, you had to... make the world... Make a little, a uh, little uh, cottage. So let's see. Yeah, over here is perfect. Ground protection fully. All right, I don't want to overuse the uh, the ferrite. Paradise dust, hopefully there's should be a lot of para paradise over here. One thing you need to know about explorations, you don't have to do each uh, each face to go to the next one. You can do each face whenever. So you can, for example, go to do the reach the first rendezvous to reach the second one. Do the uh, modified nag, take ten photos. Explore specific environments. Visit a range of different planetary environments. Zero out of five. That one I'm gonna have to study. See how what they asked me to do for that one. I mean, I've been through different environments already, and nothing. So, plans have been going doesn't count. Oh, this wasn't easy to do. Trust seventy five percent. Young female. Okay. I'll feed her, make sure that she can trust me.
Okay, it connects. I don't have the cylinder ones, do I? No, I do not. If I had the cylinder builds, I would definitely be using that over the alloy, uh, the alloy walls. Luckily... Oh, hold on. Seems... We got some droppings over here. Let me pick it up. Oh, yeah, there it is. Patient is kind of important to, for crafting with uh, water, with plants. And it's also for certain quests that they ask you to, hey, grab this, hand this in. Alright. Let's make a little roof. Ground protection for Yeah, it is. Okay. Temperature levels stabilizing. So we got. All right, because I made a base here, I should be able to return here at any given time. Issue, but I want to check the space anomaly real quick. Gotta get myself acclimated to going through here again. Um, yeah, this door. Okay, let's see. Here we go, building.
Alright, so I don't have salvage data. See what I'm missing. Oh. Here we go, technology modules. Okay, so I need two salvage datas. And salvage datas are just either bought or found throughout the world. You just gotta find these containers that have them. So I need 40 sodium, two carbon nanotubes, four metal platings. I gotta definitely buy this. Oh, there it is. Two of them. So every planet you go to, or every place you go to, you will be able to upgrade this either technology, or general, or cargo. The more you upgrade, the more expensive it gets each time, though. But you can do it twice in every area because the space anomaly counts as one, and the landing area counts as another. You can also buy weapons, tools. If we do a little comparison here with this one. You'll notice mine is much better than this. So, no need to buy. You can hold up to five, I think. Four or five of each. Honestly, if you're not playing No Man's Sky, I highly recommend it, especially since the event is up. Because when the event is done, your progress will become a normal game mode. And you can just continue it with all the buffs you got from the original. So trust me, it's very worth it. It's a very worthwhile game for what it offers if you're into space exploration. Now that I know what I need, let's go back to the plan and try to find salvage natives.
really know where my plans for my talk is. color is mine so but get that uh that echo base is taken and I find it funny how they call the echo base or the echo settlement because I believe it's a reference to Star Wars I'm gonna land here for a bit. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Really technology modules. Go. So right, look at this. Oh, and, that, and take a screenshot of it, cause one of the uh, things I gotta do for the milestones. Screenshot ten ground creatures. Should have counted. What's that? That's very mineral formation. Salvage status. Okay. Usually you get one, two, three, I think. I don't know if you get four sometimes.
cargo drops. Uh, I know I saw one. There it is. So what I want to do is just I want to activate a portal so I could come to this planet anytime I want, even from across the galaxy. So that's why you create bases, because bases will allow you to do that. The issue with that is that it requires a lot of materials and a waypoint between two bases. Again. Cool, that's six. Alright, that's good, that's good. Alright, let's go back to the airship. If I can. I mean the if because if I don't have fuel, I can't get out of this planet. So, just in case, I'm gonna grab these dehydrogen jellies. There's a lot right here. Okay, airship has it. And this is the awkward thing I was talking about when you were out of a material and you actually need to go back and get some. Upgrade my ship's uh, in storage space. Either this one or the hauler. Hauler is a cargo, it's a cargo type ship, so it has more inventory spaces. This one should, if I upgrade it, will have all this available too. Should. Base hour does not increase to the point that it's like that maxed. Alright. Okay. Yeah, okay, I have enough. I have enough fuel. I have enough launcher fuel to get out of here. Yeah, let's put this here. Let's put this here. Put that here. Okay. Just uh, shooting with a laser beam, I could just go with the ship. Shoot around to get the material needed. A little bit of a faster way of gathering. Just uh, be aware that if you're in a high sentinel location, they will not hesitate to attack. 
or even wait for you in space. I'll then call it for a bit and continue playing later tonight or tomorrow. But I'll definitely be finishing this expedition. And I'll be streaming it completely. Might do it on Twitch tomorrow tomorrow. Just because I do want to see the difference between YouTube and Twitch on the stream. Oh, it's our status for a for solar panel. That's good, but I would also need the battery. And then the electronic generator. So. Electrical cloaking unit is kind of an interesting because it just allows you to have, oh, you won't show wires all over your house. So, I'll get this and the battery. Uh, did not mean to invite somebody to group. I wanted to talk to this guy. And that will be something that you always have an issue with, just with play with the consoles, it says you want to talk to something, and it's like, nope, you'll target other players by accident. That said. the wolf how the Alright guys, uh, sadly I have to go. I'm going to the beach house today, like I said before. So, I'm gonna have to cut the stream short. We'll be 
I'll be back later tonight, as I said, or tomorrow. I'll see you next time. Let me just uh, go to the ship and save real quick, though. Yeah, the way this game auto saves is you gotta go back to your ship and leave it, and it'll save. Otherwise, your pro your progress will not save. Be careful when dying, because it will automatically autosave, so you might want to have a save file ready just in case. Manually saving. You have to create a save beacon in order to do it, which is... I can't put it over here. Let me see if I can actually check it on blueprints. No, okay, never mind. Game is safe. I'll see you next time, guys.